For some time, I've been thinking about changing the tyres on the van. So in this video, I'm going to talk about considerations I made, what I finally picked, and what I think of them so far. Thanks for watching our video and as always if you have any questions or feedback please pop them in the comments below. If you find the video useful please like, share and consider subscribing. When we picked up this van it had a mismatch of tyres and some were getting on for 10 years old. So I wanted to change them and upgrade them to something that gave us a bit more grip in the wet and the mud. So I wanted to have a look and see what was available and decide what suited us best. Having checked the age of the tyres that came on the van, you can do this using this code, the first two digits being the week of the year and the second two the year. So in this case, week 34 of 2011. And although they still had more than the legal tread depth, the lack of tread pattern, which had not been helpful getting off a couple of muddy fields in the past, having to resort to track mats and even being towed off on one particularly bad occasion, my instinct was to go for some of the extreme all-terrain tyres I'd seen on other vans. However, I didn't want to have to change the rims and after chatting to a few local tyre fitters, I'd have had to go with larger circumference all-terrain tyres that may have ended up catching the bodywork, plus our balance of on and off-road driving didn't really justify the impact on road fuel consumption, performance and wear for the small benefit of such an aggressive tread. An alternative they did suggest were all season mud and snow tyres. These were available to fit the current rims in the same size as the standard tyres. They provide good performance in both wet and dry conditions, have an increased tread depth and lifetime to standard tyres and provide better performance in mud and snow. After getting some advice and checking some reviews, the tyre I chose was the Maxxis Vansmart All Season AL2, at just over £100 a tyre fitted. The three main grooves in the profile ensure excellent water drainage, lateral grooves provide increased grip in the wet, mud or snow, the reinforced shoulder blocks reduce wear and increase durability, and the renewed silica rubber compound keeps the rubber supple at low temperatures, improves ride comfort and road contact. So one of my concerns about changing the tyres on the van for something with a slightly more aggressive tread pattern um, is this noise in the cabin when we're travelling. Now it's a pretty noisy van anyway so I didn't think it was going to make a big amount of difference but just to see how I actually did, um, I've come out in the van with its original tyres to measure the sound levels at 50, 60 and 70 miles an hour um, and then I'll do the same thing after we've changed the tyres um, on the same piece of road to see if there's a noticeable difference. We'll have a look once the tyres have been changed. As the tyres were the same size as the standard ones, there were no issues of fitting and very quickly all the van tyres and the spare were swapped over. Here you can see the clear difference in the tread pattern and depth of the standard tyre and the all-season mud and snow. Then the fun bit of taking them out for a test drive where first impressions were pretty good. Let's take a look at those noise measurements I was worried about. On the left you can see the standard tyres, on the right the all season tyres. First at 70 miles an hour. The all season, on average 1 decibel louder. At 60 miles an hour, both are louder than at 70, but the all seasons are now 2 decibels louder. And now at 50 miles an hour, the all seasons are only an average of 0.2 decibels louder. Realistically, the slight increase in road noise is not noticeable, and the extra grip we should get from the tyres make it well worth it. I'll be keeping an eye on the tyre wear, fuel consumption, how effective they are on the road and in the mud, and I'll do a follow-up video in a few months' time. Coming soon, we'll talk about different options for getting 4G internet in your van. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it.